Hello, welcome again to Out and About with Martin. Today we're in Matlock in Derbyshire, the town where I grew up for the first 13 years of my life. I'm going to take a short walk through Hawley's Park on the side of the River Derwent and then up to Pictor, where we will get a fantastic panoramic view of Matlock, Rava Castle and the surrounding areas. Apologies if you can hear the noise of the bouncy castle that's just behind my camera. So let's take a walk, first of all through this fantastic garden and then through Hawley's Park. Here we are, the beautifully kept gardens of Hawley's Park. Park where I spent many hours of my childhood. Lots to do here, children. Currently having tennis lessons. Walking down the park now with the river on our right hand side. Here we have the miniature railway. Don't know how long it's been here, but I remember going on it 53 years ago. Crikey, that's a long time, isn't it? That's over half a century. Getting old. Just my brain thinks I'm 21. But yeah, it's still in use today. 50, over 50 years since I last went on it. It's early on, it's 53 years since I last went on this train. Actually, I've done my maths, it's 63 years. I'm older than I thought. Here's the boating lake. Can hire little motor boats to go out on here. They've been here well over 60 years that I can remember. Nice to see some things never change. Here in Hawley's Park here, we'll be returning here later on at the end of the walk. Short walk down the road now to Nolston Park. Nice bridge here in Nolston Gardens going over the stream. Stream flows into the River Derwent. Turn right now and walk along the side of the River Derwent. Okay. This is the Derbyshire Derwent, not to be confused with the River Derwent in Yorkshire. Two entirely separate rivers. See the limestone cliffs, we'll be going over the top of those later on. This area was used for lead mining, believed to be as far back as in the Roman times. There you see the cliff edge of Picto. We'll be up on the top of there later on. 
Obviously I'm not climbing up, I'm taking the easy way up, up the footpath. Just in front you'll see this tunnel of the Matlock to Derby railway line going over the top. We won't be going under the tunnel, we're going to be turning left and starting our climb up. It's a nice steady climb up here. Nothing strenuous at all. Normally it's a very peaceful walk this, but at the moment there's um, quite a bit of construction work going off. Although we've climbed quite high in a short space of time, because the footpath zigzags up the banking, it is quite a steady climb. Get here to the top of Picto. We're greeted with a fantastic panoramic view of Matlock. You can see Rabba Castle with its commanding view over the town of Matlock. Built as a private home for the industrialist John Smedley in 1862. After his death his wife continued to live there until her death in 1892. It then became a boys prep school until 1930. It was then unused until World War II when the Ministry of Defence used it as a site for food storage. The Ministry of Defence left following the war and the castle remained unused until the 1960s when the grounds were turned into a zoo. The zoo finally closed in 2000 amidst controversy over the treatment of animals. In 2006 planning permission was given to convert the castle into luxury apartments. Then as you turn around the corner you see this wonderful war memorial overlooking Matlock. We'll leave the war memorial behind, take this left and start to drop back downhill again. Heading down the steps now towards St Giles Church. Get to the bottom of the churchyard, there's a gate on your right hand side, bottom right corner. You can go out of that or you can continue down the churchyard to church and join the road at the church.
As you pass St Giles Church on your left, you'll see a steep pathway down to your left. We'll follow that one. As you get to the bottom, you'll see a gate on your left. Go through this gate. And turn right over this bridge, heading back to Hawley's Park. Erected by voluntary subscriptions to the memory of Police Constable Arthur Wright, who lost his life in drowning while attempting to save another, March the 27th, 1911. Now walking back along the other side of Hawley's Park, Really nice to see a park so busy and full of children. So many parks nowadays are just underused. The playground was absolutely packed. Obviously I'm not going to film a children's playground. Right in the centre of the park, the centrepiece is the bandstand. Next to the bandstand, a very popular cafe. Hope you enjoy this vlog. If you have, then please click on the like button and click on that bell for notifications of my next video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, much appreciated if you would, because you're absolutely nothing and it does help my channel grow. You can also help me by buying me a coffee using the link in the description. So until next time, bye.